In many parts of the U.S., long lines at COVID testing sites are back, and rapid tests can be hard to get, thanks to the emergence of the new Omicron variant. In response, the Biden administration recently said it plans to increase access to testing sites and free at-home testing. I'm announcing today the federal government will purchase one half billion, that's not million, billion with a B, additional at-home rapid tests with delivery starting in January. The move appears to be a shift in strategy for the White House. Earlier this month, Press Secretary Jen Psaki dismissed the idea of sending rapid tests to every American. How much does that cost and then what happens after that? So why has reliable and fast access in the U.S. continued to be an issue two years into the pandemic? Let's start with the science. There are two main kinds of tests, both of which still work on Omicron. The first kind are PCR tests. These look for the virus's genetic information, or RNA. Depending on demand, it can take anywhere from several hours to a day or two to get your results. Part of the wait time has to do with how the tests work. The virus's genetic information needs to be amplified or copied, and that takes time. To run them, a trained professional often needs to swab your nose to get the sample. And with pharmacies already experiencing worker shortages, needing somebody to actually administer the tests adds strain to the system. Health experts say that knowing there will be long waits for tests and results can lead to even more issues. To start, it can discourage people from going to get tested. If someone in line actually has COVID, the longer they wait, the more likely it is they could expose someone. And finally, people may be less likely to isolate while waiting for results, especially if they don't have symptoms. All that gives the virus plenty of opportunity to spread and mutate. So those are some of the problems we're seeing with PCR testing, some of which aren't all that different from what we saw in the spring of 2020. But now we have another kind of test, at-home rapid tests. Those are the ones that the Biden administration is ordering up. These tests look for viral proteins or antigens. They work a bit like pregnancy tests, giving results in a matter of minutes. But as my coworker Brianna Abbott told me, You know, we were really, really vaccine focused for a really long time. And it is now clear that, you know, that's not going to be the only thing. We need other tools in our toolbox. This is the first time rapid tests have been sold to consumers at this scale. And so you really started to see the tests hit the shelves in, you know, March and April of this year. And even then, there wasn't a lot of interest when, when they first started hitting the shelves in earnest because, you know, that's when the vaccines were, were rolling out. Health officials de-emphasized testing, saying most vaccinated people didn't need to get tested in most situations, and production slowed down. But then came Delta, and cases started surging, and even vaccinated people got infected. The government pledged billions to make rapid tests more widely available and cheaper, in part by ramping up production. Fast forward to today, the administration is opening up more free federal testing sites where you can get a PCR test and mailing 500 million rapid tests out to Americans for free. That practice has been standard in some European countries for months. Some health experts said the move may have come too late. 500 million tests might sound big, but at a population of more than 330 million in the US, that's fewer than two tests per person. And health experts told me that people should really be testing two times a week, especially if they're going to work or social gatherings. In the past, testing backlogs have eased when people started to feel like life was going back to a pre-pandemic normal and demand went down. But that can create the potential for outbreaks that go undetected, starting the cycle again. That's why health experts have stressed for months the continued importance of routine testing, especially with rapid tests, even as cases are trending down. If you found this video useful, don't forget to hit subscribe. And if you're interested in learning more about at-home testing or Omicron, check out our other videos. Thanks for watching y cuídense.